It is a big day for Metro Atlanta School District. Students in nearly two dozen school systems in our viewing area will begin learning virtually or they'll step inside a classroom this morning. That includes three of the four largest school districts in the state, Cobb, DeKalb, and Fulton counties. We have your back to school team coverage this morning. Mara Sirianni will have details on Fayette County's in person and digital learning. But first we begin with Nick Sturdivant, who's breaking down DeKalb County, the state's third largest school district and their plans. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Christy. In DeKalb County, they will start the school year with remote learning. They will also start the school year with the new superintendent. I spoke with the new DeKalb County School Superintendent, Cheryl Watson Harris, recently. She comes to DeKalb County from New York City. And look, this is also a big adjustment for educators and teachers. A DeKalb County teacher told us some have created Bitmoji classrooms and have and, and many are changing their content from the traditional methods. But when it comes to making sure all students have access to laptops, there, have, there is some concern. The district says it began distributing devices to families on August 12th and that students in grades 3 through 12 without a device are being prioritized. That it isn't just posting the assignments on our LMS and getting the, the computers or devices into the hands of the students and their families, but also ensuring that we have, uh, we're working on like a dial a teacher type of program right now for parents if they need help helping their children. And Christy, DeKalb County School says more devices have been ordered and they're expected to arrive the second week of September. All right, the sooner the better. Thank you, Nick. Let's continue our team coverage this morning with Mara Sirianni, who is live in Fayette County. Mara Fayette is one of only two set to return to the classroom and online today. They are parents here in Fayette County actually had a choice, which is definitely more than some other districts could say. Uh, definitely happy about that. Some parents out here, but that also means that some students here at Fayette County High School will be returning for in person learning this morning. Now they actually did hold a mock first day of school just to kind of make sure that everything would run smoothly this morning and that everything would pan out the way it should. But according to the district's website, the students who opted for in person learning will only attend classes two or five days a week. Students pre K through second grade will return five days a week while grades three through 12 will rotate between two days in person and the rest virtual. Some students in Fayette, of course, will be learning exclusively from home if their parents chose that. Now, everyone who enters into a school building here in Fayette County will be required to wear a mask. The district will be handing out masks to anyone who doesn't have one. All right, Mara, thank you. And here is another look at the other school districts starting school today. Barrow, Butts, Decatur City Schools, Cobb, Fulton, and Douglas Counties, just a couple of the ones returning today, all deciding to hold digital only classes. Gainesville City Schools and Henry County also going digital only. Pickens County will offer both in person and digital. You can see the full list of when each district returns scrolling at the bottom of your screen. A third Cherokee County High School switching to online learning after a rise in COVID-19 cases. The district announcing 25 positive COVID-19 cases at Creekview High School. That led to 500 of its students being quarantined. That is a little over a quarter of the students in the school. The school will resume classes online tomorrow and is hoping to resume in-person classes again by August 31st, along with Etowah and Woodstock High Schools. If you have any questions about a school district's plans for the fall or their policies to keep students safe, we have a complete breakdown for you up on our website at 11alive.com. 6.36 on your Monday. Now let's get to some other top stories we're following on this Monday morning.